All right, salutations to the nations out there. Let's see this video. Edification to the nation of Israel to see the Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Praise the Most High. Greet you by Sham Yahweh, by Sham Yahweh Shah, by Sham Kakwadash. Kala Yah Khan. All right. Let's get um, some footage of the disaster on these heathens and look at it through the lenses of prophecy. All right. Matthew 24 and 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. And famines. And pestilences. And fearful sights. And great signs shall there be from heaven. Sorry about that. That's Luke 21 and 11. I often said that didn't sound like Matthew 24. That's Luke 21 and 11. Okay. So you see that pestilences and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. OK. So, you know, what's going on um, in this uh, modern current time. And, uh, you know, it's the pestilence called COVID-19. Sweeping these nations, all right, putting fear on them, okay. Uh, let's go to Matthew. Yeah, that's good neighborhood right here. So Matthew twenty four, he's going into the end times, and. Um, you know, it's it's the, it's the, it's the same prophecy, but you know, just uh, related in a different way. As you know, but the same 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 prophecies. Okay, there's the precept in the New Testament for uh, that Luke prophecy we just saw. Matthew twenty four seven: For nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences. And earthquakes in diverse places. Okay. So these are times of the end. Alright. All these are the beginning of sorrows. What else Messiah? He's talking to his disciples now. His disciples asked him verse 3. You know. Tell us about the times of the end. And the signs. Okay. So you can. You can see what he was at, what he was asked by his disciples right there in verse three. And so he started giving them, you know, answers to those questions in great detail. All right. That he warned us of, you know, a, a, a particular prophecy that was going to affect us as a nation. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated. Of all nations for my name's sake. So he's showing the brothers, the disciples, his, his brothers, the Jews out of the uh, tribe of Judah, the land of Judea. Um, and matter of fact, you know, the, the, just the Hebrews. Let's just keep it plain because at that time you still had Hebrews out of all 12 tribes in the land of Judah right there in that kingdom. Okay. You still did have. Um. You know, the other tribes that will be considered the northern kingdom. You still had those tribes um, settled right there in Jerusalem. OK. So he's talking to the Hebrews. And he told the Hebrews that they was going to be hated by all nations. For his name's sake, in other words, you know, it's going to turn out to you for good, you know, in my name. Because I'm going to reward you for that suffering that you Hebrews going to suffer. Okay. All right. Verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Okay. So, you know, let's get back down here. Oh, this, this, this should be highlighted. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. All right. So you just saw. 
where the end comes in at. All right, after much distress on the nation of Israel and only after the pre preaching of the gospel. Okay, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. All right, amen to that. So now with that being said, praise the most high. We got a video with uh, that exact title, and that's what we're going to go to for this testimony. All right, and to the most high be the glory. All right. So he just said that, you know, that gospel he dealt with was going to be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then the end shall come. So that has to happen. All right. This gospel that he dealt with, that gospel that he dealt with has to be preached to all nations. Okay. We see the suffering already that we see the, the Hebrews hated by all nations. We see that. But now it's time for the Hebrews that he was talking to to preach that gospel that he gave them. It was time. Now it's time for us to do just that. Preach this gospel of that kingdom for a witness unto all. In other words, that that was um, I think that was uh, Maturion in the Greek. Let me see. Which is a testimony, uh, 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 like evidence in a trial. Okay. Verse 14. Where is, uh, the word testimony? Oh, witness. Okay. Witness or testimony. Let's see. Well, yeah, it should be material, which is testimony. Yeah, material. See, testimony. Which is evidence, evidential. There we go. Something evidential, okay, that is given as evidence. All right. So that's testimony or witness. So we're we're giving a testimony to you people, okay. We're witnessing to you uh, against you. All right. Telling you what's coming ahead and why it's coming. Okay. Matter of fact, let's get the date of this again. I don't know if I saw it. Yeah. So this is for witness to all nations, February the 4th, 2020. Okay. And that's right. It's the year of recompenses. The year redeemed. It's time to run with the vision. Okay. All the things that's written. All right, uh, matter of fact. We're going to get our kingdom back. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith ye Ivy, until the day that I rise up to the prey. That's right. For my determination is to gather the nations. Okay. That I may assemble the kingdoms. Praise your holy name, yeah. upon the mine indignation. That's right. Even all my fierce anger. Okay. For all the earth shall be devoured. With the fire of my jealousy. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Salutations, UK. Uh oh. Right? oh. And you goddamn Pappy Gomer, the French son of a bitch. <laughs> Salutations, you damn heathen. Oh, okay. Okay, all. <laughs> Pappy Gomer, the French son of a bitch. Salutations, you damn heathen. All right. Keep that in mind. French. France. UK. All right, so this is. Published today, March the 23rd, okay. France coronavirus deaths jumped by 112 in a day. What else? As death toll reaches <laughs> 674. All right, praise the bulls high. La situation en France, nous sommes devant une épidémie qui continue de s'étendre et de s'aggraver. Ce jour, nous avons 16,018 cas. 35% de ces cas ont moins de 65 ans. Aujourd'hui, nous avons 7240 yeah, personnes hospitalisées. 17... God damn city. All right, you're a bloodthirsty son of a bitch, America. All right, just like your goddamn mother whore queen. Okay? Yeah, that's right. Salutations, UK. All right? 
is your goddamn pappy Gomer, the French son of a bitch. <laughs> Salutations, you damn heathen. Okay, all you heathen. Alright, this was published on March 15th. UK coronavirus death toll rises to 35. Asterisk new measures reveal. Okay? And bless the most high forever, bless man. Weeks. You see that? Never let one of these fail. That was back in February. These death tolls weren't even out of China good yet. But you see that? Praise the most high, man. Well, maybe they were. I don't know. I have, I have to fact check that. Definitely what, um, praise the most high, man, you know. Let's just get a little bit of this. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He just hears us. Hey, Amen. He hears us and honor us, man. Cause us to destroy your nations, as it's written. This might be a thing of the past for those aged over 70. Say what, he makes. This might be a thing of the past for those aged over 70. In its attempts to mitigate some of the impact of coronavirus, the government will tell those who are vulnerable they have to self-isolate, potentially, for months. It is a major ramping up Stay of the government's plans, and the health secretary today admitted it was a considerable escalation. The shielding of vulnerable people and the elderly who are the most affected by this virus, um, that is in our plan, but we don't want to say that people need to do that until the time is right, because it's clearly a very significant intervention. And Okay, so he's going to rise up to the prey one day. All right, and that day is the day that he's going to get us out of this goddamn hellhole that we in. All right, in the four quarters of the earth subjected to you heathens and the heathens' hand in the heathens' land. All right, and in particular in America for his servant, man. All right, this shithole country, okay? That's right. This goddamn bloodthirsty goddamn place, man. This bloody goddamn city. All right, you're a bloodthirsty son of a bitch, America. All right, just like your goddamn mother whore queen. Okay, yeah, that's right. Salutations, UK. All uh -oh. right, you goddamn pappy Gomer, the French son of a bitch. Salutations, you damn heathen. What else? Okay, all you heathen, man. All you goddamn heathen, man. For behold, in those days, and at that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations. We'll bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And we'll plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. What else? And parted my land. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached. All right? He go gather all you nations to destroy you and not save you, man. Okay? For his heritage and his people, Israel and Jerusalem. That sweet Jesus said you was going to do what? Take us as slaves and take our land. That's right, you damn heathen. Death tolls. Amen. He going to get all you heathens, man, for what you done, man. Okay? That's Ain't right. nobody going to get let off the hook, man. <laughs> all right? All you heathens, okay? That's, That's right. right, man. You, you, you people. His heritage is ruined. Part of this.